Hi everyone, Alina here. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna share with you beautiful tutorial about 3D flower on the nail. Let's keep watching. I start my tutorial with gel application. I make extension with Builder Gel. Uh, in my case, I use fiber gel. I love fiber gel because you don't have to make thick. It's enough tiny small layer and it's holding nail very nicely for natural nails or for fake nails. Then I prepare colors. So in my case, I have gel polish, white color first, and I will use some Gelina gel polish, purple color. So I like effect like ombre, it have to be from dark to light. So I make kind of dots and I mix them together with wooden stick or plastic stick. You just have to make sure the colors it's all like ombre from light color to dark color. Mix properly. If you see it somewhere, it's not enough colors. You just can steal it, let's say some small point from the a bottle and editing so it have to be come from lighter to darker after when my builder gel is curing and my nail is dry, I am not remove sticky layer straight away, I start to draw some dots with darker color. Then I cure it for a few seconds, let's say from, from 20 to 30 seconds, and I start to use poly gel or makeup gel, some people say like acrylic gel, it's have a different name, but it's actually the same things. And um, you can use as well acrylic, just normal clear acrylic. I prefer a uh, light pink uh, poly gel. I added small, uh, small tiny bit and I cure it in the lamp. In the lamp I cure it, like I said, 20 to 30 seconds all the time between. And from darker to lighter colors, I'm always gonna uh, edit petals. I will, dry, I will draw in petals and on the top when it's curing. And again, I'm added some poly gel. So like that will be step by step, all the same, it just have to be between gel polish and every time we cover it layer by layer with poly gel.
When I see it's enough my flowers, then I have to seal with some nice gel. So first I was thinking maybe I should to use clear, but after when I remember about my new range of glitter gels, I am actually decide to have a builder gel with some small glitter on it. Its effect amazing so actually i'm tested i'm not tried before i don't know result what it's gonna look like but when it's gonna be finished then i will see maybe next time i will add it less or more or maybe i will change some colors uh, application or some colors direction Before you cure it, you have to make upside down because when I start from the one corner and I go to another one, it's already start running. Remember, it's not poly gel, it's builder gel. With poly gel, if I seal, most of the poly gel is actually not clear enough. I want it will be like glass. So I'm that's why using actually builder gel. So I'm put upside down and I cure it nicely for at least one minute. Remove my form. And I wipe its sticky layer with sanitizer or cleanser, uh, it's up to you. Why I remove sticky layer? Because when I'm gonna use a file, it will make my drill a bit dirty. But if I am actually remove all the sticky layer, it will be much easier for me to file it. So you have to file it nicely in one from one to another direction and make sure from different side it's the same level. So it have to be no bumpy. When you see it's uh, at least a little bit more look like nail, <laughs> then you start to file it with normal file to finish all the filings. After when we, you finish with filing, you use buffer and after buffer you will put top coat. My nail is done, it's my favorite part when I remove all the dust after filing and buffing and I put top coat. I love to put top coat after like this design because you actually don't know what is the result gonna be so it will give me surprise. Look how amazing it is. It looks like frozen flowers inside the nail. The application you see it, it was actually very messy and it's don't have to you have to don't be super artistic, so you just have to follow directions and colors. Look how amazing it is. I'm so happy with the result. I hope you enjoy my video and see you soon.